For small farms in Ohio, diversity can result in added income. That's why researchers at Ohio State's South Centers are teaching farmers how to raise fish as an alternative to traditional livestock. My name is Jeff Wallet. I work here at the Ohio State University South Centers. I manage the aquaculture research and demonstration facility farm. Aquaculture is raising of fish and shellfish, clams and oysters. Well, aquaculture is growing quite a bit in, in Ohio. Uh, we have probably over 200 farms now in Ohio. Farmers are getting interested in aquaculture because of either having an existing farm that perhaps their crops are not uh, having as much profitability, so they're looking to diversify their farm income. Ohio State University, we have our outreach and extension program. We go around and help farmers around the state with their aquaculture businesses, either existing uh, businesses that are needing help with production, or even uh, new businesses, people that are just starting up. This is our aquaculture research building. We have uh, about 200 tanks in here. We have yellow perch, bluegill, our, our two primary species that we're doing the research on. And this is the building that we're housing most of them in. This first room is our feed storage room where we keep all the feed for the, the different experimental animals that we have. And you'll see there's different colors and different sizes of the feed. And that's based on the size of the fish as well as its nutritional requirements. This smaller feed will obviously go to a smaller fish, a two to three inch size fish. Well, aquaculture requires a lot of skills besides just knowing how to raise fish. And one of them is being a good plumber. This is our plumbing supply room and we have a lot of different PVC fittings uh, that we use to either bring water and air to the tanks. Well, these larger tanks are on our recirculating aquaculture system. The water comes into this blue tub. That separates out most of the solid waste out of the water. After that, it's, it comes to the biofilter here. These small beads have a lot of surface area on them and allow bacteria to grow on them that will actually break down ammonia, which is the primary waste product of fish, into a less harmful nitrate. After that, it trickles through those and is returned back to the tank in a continuous loop. One of our main focuses is on the yellow perch, and we are doing a genetic improvement program, breeding program with the yellow perch, trying to produce faster and larger growing fish. Yellow perch, traditionally a fairly small fish, and it takes up to two years to grow them to market size. We're hoping with our genetic improvement of, of faster growth that we can cut that production time down. These are probably pretty, uh, pretty typical of what you might catch on Lake Erie, though the age is a lot different. In, in a culture situation, we can get them up to this size in two to three years. A fish that's a perch that's 10 to 12 inches long up on Lake Erie is probably about five to six years old. So we're cutting that growth time in half by having more controlled conditions in aquaculture. We also do some work with freshwater shrimp or prawns. We have uh, about 30 farms in Ohio this past year have done freshwater shrimp culture. Uh, get up from, we started with about four in 2002, so we've seen an increase in growth there. That's a species that is, uh, takes a short growing season from June till about September, and uh, they're able to market locally. This is the freshwater shrimp that's now being raised in Ohio. And that's market size after approximately three months of culture in the ponds. You will get some size variation. Uh, the females actually will grow a little bit larger than the males. Ohio State has the advantage of having probably the largest uh, research and demonstration facility in the Midwest. Uh, we, have, we have had contact with the other Midwestern states as well as helping farmers in Ohio and our, pro our program is gaining a lot of national reputation as well for the work we're doing with the genetics and the bluegill.